Yo, we're coming at you live from Camp Epinacqua, somewhere in Canada, and I'm not specifying any more than that. I am your host, Nick Enjoys Crabs, dropping what is sure to be the biggest event in media this year, right now. Here's the deal, me and my co-host, Chef I'm the Malix, have selected 22 campers from across all forms of media to compete against each other in challenges, only to have to receive the harsh judgment from their peers when they don't succeed. Every time one of our two teams loses a challenge, that team will have to watch one of their members walk the dock of unepicness and board the boat of losers, where they leave camp for good. The last camper standing here today will earn themselves a small fortune of one million dollars. So, you may be wondering, who are these 22 lucky campers? Well, dear viewer, it's time for you to find out yourself. All contestants will be shown, along with one of two colors in their background to represent which team they're on, in the intro to Total Epic Island! Just a few more clarifications before beginning. As you read in the intro, the website used to create this event was brandsteel.com, which allows me to customize the competing characters as I see fit. However, other than the characters themselves, everything for this was completely randomized, being their stats and relationships between each other, meaning they may not be accurate with how these characters would usually act. But upon reviewing the footage and creating some headcanons throughout the video, I'd say the characters are close enough to their official counterparts. One more teeny little thing, this video was recorded prior to the whole Kendrick Lamar vs Drake beef, so I just wanted to explain that while he does root for him at some points in this video, Ayn Demalix never liked Drake and only rooted for him since he was the only contestant related to rap, which is probably Ayn Demalix's favorite thing, like, ever. So just know that he didn't like Drake then, and he definitely doesn't like him now. And now, with everything finally out of the way, I'd like to give you all a warm- Welcome to Total! Epic Island. Wow. Our Shadow and Coney fell a mutual unbreakable. Well, wouldn't you know? How accurate, because Coney is just known to love Pokemon. He loves it. Oh, okay. Okay, that's, okay, this that's is, probably a good thing. No, this is so bad. Everyone hates. Okay, well, one person hates. No, sorry. Yeah. No. The ghost of past. Oh, okay. So, because he's so dead. Like, and Watch Mojo also hates Homer. That's cool. Wow, another totally accurate relationship. <laughs> he's totally mentioned how much he loves this series. I, I read the I read this one though. <laughs> you know what? Surprisingly accurate. What do you mean? <laughs> look, look at their poses. Look at their poses. <laughs> Squid would be like, yeah, you gotta invite me to the island someday, bro. Then me and Marshall lick each other. No one cares. Let's see how the epic it's like each other. I hate these team names. Why did I make this? Superchverts and Blue for Rio are awesome together. That's so cool. Oversimplified hates Angry Bird. No, he, no, he, he, he is an Angry Bird, if, if, but he's just not a bird. Uh, trans minion and two chairs hate each other. Is two chairs transphobic? Probably. Oh, Foreman Pig is a huge ally, though. All right, campers. <laughs> this challenge is done in three parts. In part one, campers must jump off a 1,000 foot high cliff into the water, which is infested with psychotic man-eating sharks. And no. the dangerous water is a small safe zone for campers to jump into. Campers who do not jump must wear a chicken hat for the remainder of the day. The team with more jumpers receives four wagons to help them with the next part of the challenge. In part two, teams must take four crates back to camp and open them with their teeth. In part 3, teams must take their supplies from the, their crates and build a hot tub. The team with the better hot tub, as decided by me, 
wins invincibility, and gets to keep their hot tub. Two campers on the screaming epics don't jump. Of course. Come on, Homer. Since there's a tide, neither team gets the wagons. After a bunch of builded later, Chris deems the screaming epics hot tub better. Woo! Let's go. That means they win. Oh, let's show the events among the team. What happens post-challenge? Oh, uh, no. oh, Drake did something. Drake. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. You know what? That actually makes a lot of sense. Never mind. All right. It has a laughing plastic. Oh, Screaming Epics Alliance won. Cody, Drake, Marshadow, Mio, and Squidward. All right. Let's see here. Two chairs and Transminion have a small... Two chairs hate so Transminion. Back. So true. Oh, and Absolutely they make it alliance. And we got the allies. <laughs> we got three allies so far. That's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> but Transmaiden's about to leave. All right, who's targeting who? Nostalgia Critic is targeting Miku. Form of Pig is targeting Oversimplified. And <laughs> Oversimplified <laughs> extremely despises Form of Pig. Just hate them. All right. What a hater. Oh, yeah, we're, we're going to do an executive decision now. Do you want to see who voted for who, or do you want to leave that as a mystery? I'll leave it as a mystery. Leave it as a mystery? That's exactly yep. what I was thinking. This is the campfire ceremony. I have 10 marshmallows. If I call your name, you are safe and you can get your marshmallow. If you do not receive a marshmallow, you must immediately return to the dock of unepicness to catch the boat of losers and leave. That means you're out of the contest and you can't come back. Ever. No. The first marshmallow goes to Trans Minion. Ally. The second marshmallow goes to us. It's, it's as triple as that. Dr. D, Blue, Miku, oh. Nostalgia Critic, and Foreman Pig. Out. Go out. Who? Oversimplified. Over Over Alright. Two chairs, Jekko Chica, Joe Swanson, and Oversimplified have not yet received the marshmallow. Oh no. The eighth marshmallow goes to Joe, and the ninth goes to two chairs. Which means the last person safe for the night is. Oh. Jacko Chica. Let's go. Oversimplified must walk the dock of unepicness and board the boat of losers. No, no. <laughs> he like goes up to the Foreman Pig, you fat, ill-bred boy. He's already out. And so Oversimplified is the first elimination of Total Epic Island. Episode 2, let's see how the Alliance is holding up. All right, uh, I think it's, uh, okay, everyone is pretty yeah. loyal except Squidward. Squidward might leave at any yeah, given moment. That's not really, that's not really surprising though. Yeah, and let's see relationship highlights, what's going on? Oh, Squidward and Rick Harrison hate each other now. Wah, wah. Squidward, was, Squidward was trying to like pot off his like old clarinet and he was like, yeah. Best I could do is $20, man. I hate you. <laughs> Come on, Rick. The expert said 25 I gotta sell this. This isn't gonna sell pretty quick. It's a clarinet, dude. <laughs> Homer and Cody also hate each other, probably because Homer didn't jump. That's fair. Uh, Mio and Cody are still best friends. Oh, Sephiroth does something. He hates Homer. Oh, Rainbow Road and Mio hate each other. Hell. Dude, the star from S64 Rainbow Road hates everyone. Yeah, especially Drake. But I guess this one's justified. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Let's go. What's going on here, guys? What is going on? You you actually know the like cancel video, of right? Uh, mutual unbreakable, mutual hatred. Uh oh. Two, oh. two chairs is still got change for the better, dude. Change for can't the better. Say, can't say I'm surprised. <laughs> can't say you're surprised. Yeah. What do you mean? The Awakeathon. This challenge is done in three parts. In part one, campers must run 20 kilometers around a lake. In part two, all the campers who finish the run by dinner time will be treated to a feast. In a surprise turn of events, it is revealed that for the third part of the challenge, the last team to have at least one camper awake will win invincibility. So two chairs, Homer, Jacko, Chica, Joe, Mio, Rick, <laughs> Star, and Transminion are treated to a feast. Right. Yippee. And now part three begins, and I can already tell who's about to fall asleep first. <laughs> Homer from no. the Screaming Epics falls asleep. So in character. Gecko Chica falls asleep. It's 10v9. Marshadow falls asleep. 9v9. 8v9. Oh, okay, okay. Screaming Epics are falling asleep fast. Oh, this is not looking good for them. Oh my god, they're hit 6v9. Oh, okay. 6v8. There you go. Okay, okay, there you go. Uh -oh. 6v7. 5. Oh, no. 6. Four, come on, dude. Three, two. Uh oh. 
And this is not looking good. There's one player. Okay. Oh, and he's already out. No, no, no. There's one nope. player remaining on the Screaming Epics. I forget who it yep. is. I think it's the star. Okay, there's still there's still five people, dude. I don't think it's they're not happening. Uh, four. Oh, three, three two, oh, two, one. Oh. And the star from Screaming Epic starts falls asleep. The Nostalgia Critic wins, <laughs> which means the Epic Pass win invincibility. Okay. Go. Okay. Let's see who they eliminate first on the Screaming Epics. Homer and Marshadow have a major fight. Uh, Drake and Marshadow have a small fight. Oh no, I think I knew it was going to go out. <laughs> what, Marshadow? Oh yeah, actually yeah. that does make sense, I didn't realize. Uh, Mio is impressing the rest of the team. Wait, who just joined the alliance? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> you guys! Oh, the living embodiment of evil. <laughs> you guys! <laughs> Get him out! <laughs> oh, Kony realized his loyalty went uh, down. His loyalty yeah. went down. You know what? Based Kony, let's go. Uh, let's see Let's see the targets. Who, who's, who's being targeted? Uh, Star is targeting okay, yeah. Marshadow. Okay, I'm starting to see what's going on. Over. Oh, hey, our first oh, yeah. mention. Uh, Rick Harrison, let's go. All right, let's see sure. events for the Epic Pass. Let's see what happens. Okay, Transvenient is winning over the rest of the team. Nothing happens to the Alliance, so that's cool. All right, this is the campfire ceremony. I have 10 marshmallows for 10 members of the Screaming Epics. If I call your name, yada yada. Watch Mojo is the first one to say with zero votes, I assume. Starg from S64 Rainbow Road is also safe, along with Squidward, yep. Rick Harrison, Mio, and Kony. And Marshadow, wait. Oh, wow. Marshadow is, oh, really? is not even in the bottom four. All right. But Drake is. But Drake is. It's down to Drake, Homer, Sephiroth, and the ghost of Pass. Drake is safe, is safe. Oh, Homer is so out, it's over. Yeah, Sephiroth hasn't really made any enemies except for Homer, yeah. but Homer has more than one enemy. Yeah, so. yeah. Homer. Sephiroth is the last camper safe. Unfortunately, Homer, Homer must walk the dock of unepicness and board the it's boat so of losers. Homer. It's so Homer. It's so Hover. <laughs> All right, it's a 10v10. Okay, I'm starting to see what... Okay, Squidward and are like on the verge of leaving but the, these three are inseparable it's so base oh sephiroth and coney now hate each other no what do you mean squidward uh, squidward is still going stronger than uh i think sephiroth hates marshadow oh no they became best friends uh squidward and drake, drake. you better not drake oh drake no, is a over. drake is an ally now that's so yeah. sad. Mio and Cody are the only ones in the Alliance who haven't fallen. All right, let's see the alliances on the Epic Pass. It's still this this one, the Allies. I'm, I'm looking toward a better for a Transmedium. Uh, I think, uh, maybe. Uh, unbreakable relationship, unbreakable relationship. All right, all right. Miku is going strong. Unbreakable, unbreakable, and hatred. <laughs> okay, so everyone seems to be on good terms, except for two chairs and yeah. Fritch words and Foreman Pig specifically. Two chairs just seems That's to hate. Yeah, no, two chairs <laughs> hates everyone. One, oh, two. never mind, never mind. The two chairs likes Miku. Let's go. All right, dodge brawl in a classic schoolyard game. Teams compete in a game of dodgeball. If a camper is hit, they are out. But if they catch the ball, the thrower is out, and the catcher gets to bring a team member onto the court. Campers can hold one ball to deflect another, but if their ball is knocked out of their hands, they are out. Each round, five campers from each team will compete, but anyone can be called onto the court when the ball is caught. In each round, the last team to have at least one camper left will win the round. The first team to win three rounds wins invincibility. Team one. The Screaming Epics chooses Kony, Drake, Marshadow, Rick, and Star. And for team two, the five they chose are Foreman Pig, Miku, Doofenshmirtz, Shrimple, and Nostalgia Critic. Let's, let's see who wins. Uh, Screaming Epics win oh. the round. They have one point out of three. Game two, Marshadow, Rick, Sephiroth, and Star versus two chairs foreman pig doofenshmirtz joe and trans minion that's not a good combo two of these guys hate trans like all of these guys hate each other <laughs> like what are you Ooh, expecting it's not looking good oh no never mind oh, wow. screw me i guess okay. screw, screw me i guess they they hate each other but they have excellent synergy all right game three coney drake mio rick and star versus foreman pig blue doofenshmirtz Go and nostalgia critic. So screaming epics win again. It seems like they're just kind of taking yeah, turns. Pony, Kobe. Drake, Squidward, and Watch Mojo versus Blue, Miku, Joe, nostalgia critic, and Transmedia. And 
The screaming epics Screaming. win the challenge. What was that? Let's go. Okay. They go. They have three points, which means the screaming epics win invincibility, which means the ghost of <laughs> past lives another day. All right, let's see events. What happens? Oh, wait. But Watch Mojo hates <laughs> Is Squidward being brought over to the right side of history? Or is Watch Mojo going to the dark side? Maybe. Drake and Squidward bond strongly. Uh, God, Drake is being pulled over more and more. Oh, uh, another alliance form. <laughs> They're both... One, two. <laughs> They're both about to leave. <laughs> All right, I mean... Like, eh, I don't really care. I think, I think it's like a temporary, like, truce between Sephiroth and Watch Mojo more so than an alliance. All right, let's see the events of the Epic Mass. Triple as that has a major meltdown. <laughs> I didn't know that was an option. It's not as triple as that. Uh, he thought it was going to be Shrimple to win this game. But hey, Alliance 2 for more allies. Let's go. Nostalgia Critic is targeting Joe because he extremely despises him. Uh, Family guy was got ruined. Okay, everyone's targeting different people. There's not, there's no real consensus around this team. It's pretty random. Uh, I have nine marshmallows. Only nine people are going to survive. Let's see. The first people on, safe camp, are Nostalgia Critic, Trans Minion, Two Chairs, Doofin Schwartz, Shrimple is that, and Joe. Which means we're down to Foreman Pig, Blue, Miku, and Jacko Chica. Okay, Jacko Chica has done nothing. I think we've seen them. I think we've seen her in like one dialogue. Foreman Pig is a hater. Foreman Pig is a massive hater. I think it's gonna be between those two. Never mind. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Screw me, I guess. Maybe me. No, Honestly, Miku's never Miku's friends mind. with everyone. I thought Miku was friends with everyone. Okay, down to Miku and Jacko Chica. All right. Yeah, because yeah. And Miku is safe. I look at that. I'm always right. Which means yeah. Jacko Chica is unfortunately eliminated. Oh, what a sad day. I feel nothing. <laughs> me neither. Uh, Mio hates Sephiroth. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> oh, Drake and Cody. <laughs> I feel like isn't actually interacting with every anyone. It's just Squidward is like his disciple. But like, he's yeah. not outwardly saying that, yeah, I support He's not mentioning Squidward. at all. And everyone on the sal I'm with I'm with island. Squidward is like not mentioning by name. He's just mentioning his cool friend that you, you guys should hang out with. So no one is of the wiser that they're that they're praising except yeah, Squidward. Yeah, hopefully. I, that, hopefully. That's my headcanon. And Watch Mojo hates Rick Harrison, the only one I've seen who hasn't like fallen in the slightest to yeah. uh, let's see relationship. Extreme hatred. Extre oh, unbreakable relationship. Oh. Sorry, sorry. I just see two chairs and think they hate someone. Okay, everyone's everyone's liking each other in this day of the game. Yeah, surprising. Yeah. Hatred. Hatred, hatred, <laughs> hatred. Got three hatreds right after I say that. The talent show. Okay. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, no. What's his talent? <laughs> Teams are given eight hours to select three campers with the best acts on their team to represent them in an upcoming talent contest. The team boys. with the- <laughs> Boys, boys, boys. The plan is simple. <laughs> Where is Ludwig coming from? I don't know, I just feel like Tony would say that too. The team with the best overall rating as decided by Chef wins invincibility. Watch Watch is just gonna go up and do top 10. Like, it's gonna be top, content farm. No, it's gonna be top 10 best game show hosts and they're gonna put- Number three. one. Yeah. Dude, he's not a game show host. And, oh, oh okay. Okay, I guess we're done. Uh, the epic best win! Alright, let's see if anything happens. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not going great. Mojo and Marshadow both have major meltdowns one after the other. Oh, Wee! that's the, that's all that happened. Uh, okay, that's the only thing that ever happened. They're so scared they're gonna get eliminated. They're so scared. Rick Her oh, Squidward is because he hasn't gotten to to him yet. Squidward is like, yeah. I can't convince Rick Harrison to love. <laughs> Watch Mojo is still targeting. Oh, the, wow. She's best friends with Squidward, but the, she's still targeting. All right. Uh, oh, oh, events. Oh. Oh wow. The turnaround. Ally. And Hopefully. Green Lantern Blue is impressing the rest of the team. I have nine marshmallows once again. It's really a toss-up on who's gonna be out. Drake hasn't been mentioned yeah. at all, so I think he's fine. The only targets were Watch Mojo, Rick, and Marshadow, and. So I think those are the only ones we have to worry about. Never mind. Rick Harrison oh. is safe. Drake, Neo, Squidward, Star, Coney. Uh, yeah. Oh, wow. Marshadow, Sephiroth, and Watch Mojo have not yet received a marshmallow. All right. Marshadow is safe. I'm really afraid Squidward convinced everyone to vote for Mojo. 
I mean, it's a possibility. It is possible. Oh no. <laughs> Either okay. It is down to Sephiroth and Watch Mojo. Oh no, he did. He did. Sephiroth yeah, he is did. safe. He Squidward, Squidward, and <laughs> are behind the scenes manipulators, dude. Just like the show. It's like the show. What are you talking about? Yeah. And where's the master the manipulator? Watch Mojo is eliminated and must leave via the boat of losers. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> and. The Ed Squidward are still missing. This is the one that's that, like, is consistent. Like, the only one that's it's, it's the only constant of this entire game. Uh, no. Oh no, the star hates Drake? This is the worst day of my well, life. The, well, the stars are relevant, so not, not like a match. True. Oh, uh, but Mio loves Drake. Mio loves Drake. Let's go. Yeah, I don't think anything's changed here. Maybe, I think two chairs in Transunion are like friends now, I think. No, never mind, they're neutral. Alright, the camp out. <clears throat> Let me. Myself. Teams must spend the night in a forest. All their essential needs are at separate camps, which they must find using a map and compass. In the morning, the first team back for breakfast wins invincibility and junk food. <laughs> I already see who wins. That's nice. The Epic Bass make it to camp. For hey, we finally broke the sw switch swatch. I don't know how to say it. Let's see, does anything happen? Ooh. Let's go. Ooh, Sephiroth, the ghost of a this ball fight. Oh, no, but Sephiroth was in bottom two last time. <laughs> might convince yeah, right, everyone. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> might convince Sep everyone to get Sephiroth out. I'm actually <laughs> gonna convince Squidward, and that's all bad. That's all I need oh, to yeah, happen. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Squ <laughs> convinces Squidward. Squidward convinces everyone else. <laughs> Sephiroth, what are you doing? <laughs> you were in the bottom two last time. It's still over. <laughs> He's so done. Uh, Squidward is still targeting Rick. Neo is still targeting yeah. Sephiroth. Oh, and it's Sephiroth, over. <laughs> Sephiroth, you're so done. Oh, it's over. It's, <laughs> it's so it's done. Uh, everyone is oppressing the team. All right, and Miku has a major meltdown. This is the campfire ceremony. I have eight marshmallows, and I have a feeling I know who's getting out. I call your... Oh, no, he's the first <laughs> one safe. Oh, come on. Okay, never mind. Okay, anymore. Marsh <laughs> Marshmallow, <laughs> Mayo, and Squidward. It's down mm. to Coney, Rick Harrison, Sephiroth, okay, and the I star. Okay, I actually need to be on this order. Be Rick, Star, Coney, then Sephiroth. That's my guess. Yeah, because Sephiroth was targeting Coney. Oh, Sephiroth. never mind. Okay, it helps you. Oh, no. It's oh, down never mind. To, it's down to Rick and Sephiroth. I was, I was, I was dead wrong. Okay. Yeah, okay. What if it's Rick out? <laughs> like, no, that, Rick, no, please, no. He's like... Rick was targeted by content. one person. Yeah, Rick was targeted by Squidward. Remember that, actually. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Wait a minute. Oh, he's talking about Squidward. Oh, it's over. No way. No. Okay, no, never okay. mind. We're fine. Wait, I saw the bald head and we're good. Yeah, all right. Which means Sephiroth is eliminated. Damn. The screaming epics are now at a disadvantage. Squidward, what lies have you been feeding the trio? Because I hasn't done anything. He's just... Yeah, I know. I think I got, like, my headcanon is getting more confirmed as it goes on. It's is just in the background telling Squidward what to say. No! He came out! He came out! Oh no! Coney! Coney's the only one to have not fallen. We got- I- I- we- we just gotta hope that this is still Squidward lies. We gotta hope this is yeah. just like wet retroactive. Cause this is not looking good for everyone's it reputation. No Alright, and I don't think anything here is changing. Oh no, oh, okay. Oh, I, I don't it. think- I don't think- Wait, okay. Extreme hate. Okay, Fine, this team is not dude. doing the best. <laughs> this team hates each other. Yeah, so many haters. <laughs> Jesus. How did this team win? Oh, be a factor. Campers must face their worst fears. Each camper who could successfully overcome their fear earns a point for their team. The team with the most points wins invincibility. Since Epic Bass have nine members to eight, one camper on Screaming Epics will compete twice. Squidward fails to overcome his fear. It's the it's <laughs> No, it's the fear of being found out as a <laughs> supporter. Jupiter Schwartz fails to overcome his fear. Failure. Rick Harrison fails to overcome his fear. What is going on, bro? Losing money. Losing. Not, deciding not to call in. Yeah, deciding not to call in an expert of paying way too much. But there you go. Green Lantern Blue oh. overcomes his fear. I mean, it's a Green Lantern. Blue. I, isn't isn't like the whole thing about Green Lanterns that they're against fear? Pony fails to overcome his fear. Foreman Pig fails to overcome his fear. Epic Bass lead 1 0 still. <laughs> fails to overcome his fear. People finding his island. No, it's actually just an adult demon. Adult man? Oh, yeah, no, he's already dead. The island was already found. My bad. Yeah. Uh, Miku fail. Oh my god. <laughs> One person, dude. 
a meal. It fails to overcome her fear. Whoa, how interesting. So over. Two chairs fails. Dude. Oh my god. <laughs> the, no one is overcoming their fear. Come on, Drake. Oh, oh and... Oh. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Winning it for the team. They decided was the one to play twice. Oh, and Nostalgia Critic. Ah. Oh, uh. We gotta hope the star... The star overcome? Ah. Oh. Uh, yeah, no, I think it's over. Yep. It's over. The yeah, Epic Bass win for the third time in a row. It's not even fair anymore. Yeah. They hate each other. How are they doing this? Oh, hey, oh, Rick Harrison might actually be safe. Ooh. Oh, it's over, Mark <laughs> No, 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 no. Oh, actually, yes. Okay, I didn't think of that, but Mark Shadow is, <laughs> figured it out. He's starting to figure it yeah. out. He's like, what are you talking about, children? What do you, what do you mean you, you like them on the younger side? <laughs> Okay, he might be able to, to to make the rest of his trio agree though. Coney and Mio might be going after. Yeah. Rick Harrison is targeting. <laughs> considering and Squidward is targeting Rick. Oh, it's over. I think it's, it's I think it's still Rick, but we had a we had a good run. It is the campfire ceremony? I once again have a limited amount of marshmallows. Squidward, Rick. Oh. Rick is fine. Mio. Oh no. <laughs> And Coney. I think this is the bottom four. Oh, no. And Drake. Well, okay, there you go. There you go. Okay, okay, three left. Oh, boy. Bar Shadow and N64 Rainbow Road Star. Can we first? I think, I think you're right. I, I have a feeling they're going to pull it out of left field and Star's going to be maybe. out. I think Star's yeah, just going to randomly be that'd, out. That'd be really funny. Mar Shadow's out. Oh, okay. Oh, no. He's, he's, he's in, I mean. He's safe. Come on. <laughs> that we actually don't like cancel the video. Six mesh, marshmallow goes to marshmallow. No! Oh, it's over. But he's close. I think yeah, next time they lose, almost. he has to be out before the merge. This is really the most nothing option that you could have chosen. Right, like, no one cares about the star. Screaming epics aren't doing too good. Rick might be the savior, dude. Rick might be the one to convince everyone. No, I think Rick is going to convince everyone that is bad. Yeah, he's definitely the like counter alliance. Yeah. Teams must paddle out to Boney Island using designated Boney Island. Boney Island, not Coney Island. <laughs> it would be kind of unfair if Cody had his own island. Once there, teams must portage their canoes across the center of the island to the other side. Once on the other side, teams must build a rescue fire, which will be judged. Then the teams will canoe back home. The first team to bring their canoes back to the start will win invincibility. The epic bass reach Boney Island. The epic bass reach the other side of Pony Island. The epic bass successfully build a rescue fire, and the epic bass make it back Come to the on, starting line. Come <laughs> on, what, are, what were the screaming epics doing? <laughs> I Dude, think I think I'm Rick was just nothing. like I think Rick was just busy like trying to convince everyone. <laughs> All right, they win again. Oh, Coney is impressing the rest of the team. Coney has a major meltdown. <laughs> all right, let's see. Okay, that's all that happens. Let's see the targets. Good, we're targets yeah. Rick. That's that's. Oh. oh. Is this is this happening? Is this happening? Oh, two chairs oh. in blue hat. Yay! Yay! Where'd you be? All right. We have six marshmallows for the screaming epics. Okay, let's see. Rake is Let's safe. Let's go. I don't care anymore. Squidward is safe. Mio is safe. Marshadow is safe. I think we're at the bottom three now. It's down to Cody, Rick, oh, the and. I think it actually happened here. I think Cody's first. I think Cody's first yeah, safe. Yep. yep. Oh, he did. okay. Come on. I think, Rick. I think it was just a means of circumstances. Holy crap. Yep. Did Rick do it? Holy crap. Did he Rick did. do it? No! No! <laughs> no! But he planted the seeds of doubt. That's what's important. Exactly. That's all that matters. Yeah. Rick, you have done, you might be out, but you have done a great service to everyone on this island. Hey, this isn't fair anymore. Can you, like, <laughs> lose the game, please? Screaming epics gotta pull yourselves together. You guys have yeah. the strongest trio in the game right now, and you're still losing. You have two master manipulators, a, a strong trio, and Drake. Okay, they're still unbreakable, unbreakable, yeah. unbreakable. That's why Rick was out. Oh. Marshall still loves no, Rick didn't do anything. <laughs> oh no, Squidward. I didn't. Oh god, this is bad. Okay, okay, we got two likes, two good, two positives, three positives. Oh, three. Uh, hate. Oh, oh four oh. positives. Hate. 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 Five oh. positives and six positives. Okay, I think they're oh, turning wow. around. I think they're actually bonding. I think we. 
We're doing good. Campers from each team are divided into two roles, hunters and deer. Hunters must shoot deer of the opposite team, while deer must evade opposing hunters. If a deer is shot by any hunter, they are eliminated. The, te the last team with deer still alive wins invincibility. The hunters for the screaming epics are Mio, Squidward, and <laughs> Of course he's a hunter. <laughs> And then Coney, Drake, and Marshadow are the deer. Oh, four okay, hunters? They only have four. two deers? They only have two deers, though. This might be the Screaming uh, okay. Epics game to win. So, Foreman Pig, Doofenshmirtz, Shrunkle, and Transminion are hunters. Oh, no, never mind. They have, is they have five deer. <laughs> they have five oh, deer. Oh, come on. <laughs> I did it scroll down. Two chairs, Blue, Miku, Swanson, and Nostalgia Critic are deer. All right? Transminion shoots Drake. <laughs> They're already down to two. It's already over. Come on, dude. Dude, it's <laughs> dude you've got to be kidding. You... What is not happening here? <laughs> <laughs> not everyone. Dude, they didn't lose any. I mean, the, I, the team was just unfair. All right. Mio and Squidward bond strongly. Drake and Squidward have a small fight. Oh, no, Drake. No. Oh, no. no. The trio is starting to fight. Coney knows about <laughs> And he's trying to convince his friend. Drake is targeting targeting. Marsh Shadow considers Coney a little weak. You guys are the trio. The trio's falling apart because because Coney's against. Okay, it's between these three then. I have five marshmallows for the screaming epics. All right, the first one safe is Squidward, master manipulator. Yeah. Second safe is Mio. Okay, okay. Third safe no. is Marsh Shadow, which means. No. Oh wait. No. Coney is safe. No. No! Oh, no! No! Okay. Drake! <laughs> this can't be happening. Guys, Drake, come on. make the Keep right busy. choice. Make Keep busy. Tony, you have to have convinced them. Come on, Team Drizzy. Yes! Let's go. Yes! <laughs> we did it! We did Let's go, Team it! Drizzy. The fifth marshmallow goes to Drake! Oh, oh my god. Reddit, we won. We did it, Reddit. <laughs> The ghost of <laughs> past must walk to the do dock of unepicness and board the boats of losers. The yeah, bozo. We have officially won. Squidward. Reddit. Squidward has no protection anymore. Squidward is still friends with everyone, but he doesn't have <laughs> protection. He doesn't have <laughs> telling him what to do. There's no hierarchy. Yeah, there's no manipulator to manipulate the master manipulator. There's, we're we're missing a spot at the top. We just gotta see yeah. who takes it. What's the point of the second alliance? Is just living on Drake? Yeah. <laughs> the first alliance literally just has. <laughs> Wait, the first alliance is just the whole team. Yep. Oh, but Squidward's about to leave it though. Squidward does not like Drake. Hell's Kitchen. Oh boy. Teams must create a three course meal to be judged by Chris McLean, which is me, by the way. I'm Chris. Each team must also appoint a head chef who will create the theme of the meal and oversee their progress. The team with the best meal wins invincibility and a five star dinner under the stars. This is when the Screaming Epics can win. They have less people to yeah. clutter up the kitchen. So the Screaming Epics appoint Mio as the head chef and. Quite fitting, might I add, the epic bass appoint shrimp. It's a shrimp he, that. He'll know how to make it. it it'll be shrimp. Yeah. Right? <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> no, they have. I, they have food and doofage birds. Of course, he knows how to cook. Drake is impressing the rest <laughs> of the team, though. Like, he knows how to cook. It's up in the air. It's up in the air who's out. Okay, so they're both targeting each other. Yeah. Uh, now Marshadow and Coney are are targeting each other, probably because Marshadow targeted oh, Coney last be, time. Yeah. It's gonna be Coney or Drake. No, can't be, can't be Drake. Campfire ceremony, four marshmallows. You guys, you guys are, you guys suck. Yeah, oh, awful. Oh. what? Team Coney. The first marshmallow goes to Coney, and no. the second to Mar to Mio. No. no. Let's go. Wait. Well, what? This is the opposite. Oh, okay, it's the opposite two that I thought were. I thought the the people that Marshadow and Squidward are targeting were gonna be final two, but it's the other way around. Marshadow and Squidward have not yet received the marshmallow. The last person safe oh. and the last person not boarding the dock of an epicness is Squidward. Unfortunately, Marshadow. Fortunately. Fortunately. <laughs> Bro, actually, I, the the more this goes on, the less I kind of care about him. He was he hate he was hating on Coney, bro. I think the fact that she hasn't uh, got any like regards from Coney, I think that means Mio has renounced. <laughs> <laughs>
I, so I think. Four to nine, dude. It's not fair. <laughs> Literally. I think everyone left on the Screaming Epics is clean except Squidward. Dude, let it merge the team. Merge the teams. They only have four. The Screaming Epics can't take anymore. <laughs> this is so <laughs> Four funny. people. Three people. <laughs> Like, unbreakable, unbreakable. Hated. Okay, they're still they still hate each other. But yeah. everyone else is strong is either strong Oh, Squidward's only a medium bond. Mm. Oh. oh, Squidward is so done. Squidward it's Squidward or Drake are so done. Unbreakable, hate, 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 hate. Uh, unbreakable, hate, unbreakable, unbreakable, hate. Oh, Jesus, okay, okay. Oh, okay. All right, this yeah, is a... Fun. All right, campers, this one's a doozy. Finally. Okay, first challenge, Drake and Mio. Compete for the Screaming Epics. Foreman Pig and Joe compete compete for the Epic Bass. Drake and Neo score the point for Screaming Epics. I don't know what the challenge was. What is it? Squidward and Coney for the Screaming Epics versus two chairs and Nostalgia Critic for the Epic Bass. Bass. I don't know why I said that. Oh, Coney oh. and Squidward. Wait, that, that means they win. That means they, they just oh. won. We didn't have to raid that much, but... <laughs> Damn. Yay. Yeah. Finally. We didn't even have to go through the third... <laughs> The third challenge, which was by far the longest to read, didn't even matter. But hey, they yeah, won! Isn't that awesome? They finally, finally. won. But they don't know they like get rid of like a special part of the team now. Yay! For, like third in a row. All right, Drake is impressing the rest of the team. Ooh, but Squidward leaves the lot. What are you doing? God, I hate that Drake guy. Grizzy Drake. Five minutes later. I know when the holly thing. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot about the drama of this place. It's just two chairs that hates everyone. Right? Yeah, two chairs hates everyone. I think everyone just hates themselves now. And yeah. then, yeah, as I thought, Transminion leaves the alliance. Oh, but a third alliance forms. Transminion. Wait, wait, two chairs and Transminion? All right, let's see the targets. Green Lantern Blue extremely despises Shrimple. Shrimple extremely despises Hines. Joe Swanson considers Hatsune Miku a liability. Okay, I think oh. she's fine then. Dubich Fritz considers Joe a liability. And Transminion strongly dislikes Green Lantern Blue from Rio. Okay, it's kind of a toss-up. All right. I have eight marshmallows. That's like four more than last time. <laughs> Trimble, Transminion, Nostalgia Critic, Blue, and Doofenshmirtz. All right, this is about what I expected. Or no, I thought this was like the entirety of streaming ethics. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> <laughs> Two chairs, Foreman Pig, Miku, and Joe. And the three safe are Foreman Pig, Two chairs, oh. and Miku. There it goes. Which means Joe it's Swanson. Over. It's so Jover for Joe. Hey, sorry to interrupt, sorry, but you may notice that we're not even halfway through eliminating the cast and yet the video is almost over. That's because I decided to split this video into two parts. I did that since I'm sure most people will be willing to click on a 40 minute video rather than an hour and 20 minute long video. So if you can allow yourself to wait just a little bit, we will return soon enough for the second concluding part of Total Epic Island. Subscribe and hit the bell if you want to know when it comes out and leave some characters you'd like to see in a potential next edition to my epic series of videos down in the comments. I have a few more of these plans after TI Part 2 releases, so stay tuned.